Hi, I'm Lionel, this is TechLoto, and this is my functional review for the MX Vertical, the MX Ergo, and the MX Master 3. Again, this is a true functional review. This is not a list of specs. My goal in this video is to help you understand what it's like to use each mouse, and hopefully by the end of it, you can come to a conclusion about which one works for you, which one you should buy, and which one you shouldn't buy. So just to give a little bit of background, apart from editing my videos for YouTube, I spend so much time editing other videos and audio. I literally could spend five hours sitting at the computer working on one audio or video at a time. And that's why having the right mouse and having the right setup is really important to me. I need something that's not going to give me carpal tunnel syndrome and something that I can comfortably finish editing and I don't feel any uncomfortability. That's my main goal. So that being said, the best way to check which one works best for me was to sit down and use each mouse for a couple of hours and I'll be giving that feedback to you guys. So first looking at the MX Vertical. This mouse is quite interesting. If the company in which you work has a dedicated IT department, you've most likely seen the IT guys holding a vertical mouse and they swear by it. They say it's the best thing ever and it's so much better ergonomically. But after using this mouse myself, I find that I can only describe this as the type of mouse that you would use if you were trying to get people's attention and trying to get them to ask you about the mouse that you're using. Is it functional? Not for me. When I sat down and held it, this kind of motion when you're moving the mouse is so uncomfortable and after doing this a few times i just knew it wasn't the mouse for me i know that it's meant to replicate the handshake motion but nobody sits down in the position of shaking hands for hours on end and it's not natural so it's not something that i would really recommend also when you're clicking it just doesn't feel natural and it doesn't feel right it feels like if you're working on maybe a basic document this could be all right for you if you're clicking maybe every 10 minutes and you're more typing. If you have a really large open space, I can see why people may want to use this. For me, my setup, I have the desk and then I pull a section under it and that's where my mouse sits. I need it to be able to sit comfortably. If you have a smaller workstation, your movement's already restricted. You don't want to add this restrictive motion to that where you're only able to move that much and that motion after a while, try it lift your hand up right now and do that a few times in a very restrictive way you'll notice that your forearm starts to tense up it's not for me i think maybe it's a nice idea it's something that it seems like other people are used to this is just something that i wouldn't recommend to anybody who's working for hours on end now moving on to the mx ergo this is the best mouse i've ever used it looks like a spaceship and <laughs> it's almost as big as one I have relatively small hands and even I see the value of having such a large mouse and for people with larger hands, once you get your hands on this, no pun intended, you're not going to be able to let it go because it's so comfortable. You literally just rest your whole palm on it and it feels natural. The placement of all the buttons is fantastic and you just click with ease. You're not feeling like you're having to lift. The roller ball is in a perfect position. And one thing that I find is that sometimes you have a good mouse, the placement of your thumb and your smallest finger doesn't really work that well. But this one, I just relax on it and it's fantastic. So is it the perfect mouse? Unfortunately, it's not. This motion is not meant to happen over and over again for a long period of time. Perhaps it's like playing the piano where you get that dexterity after a while. But for me, it just doesn't work. If you think I'm being over the top, think back to any time you've been hooked to a mobile phone game or you've been using your phone for texting for quite a long period of time, you notice that this motion starts to put a little bit of a pressure on your thumbs. I mean, we have opposable thumbs, but they're not made for this motion over and over again. Everything is great in terms of being ergonomical, but it just needs a sensor. I really would recommend that Logitech create a version with a sensor. Moving on to the MX Master. The MX Master is a decent shape, it's a decent size, the motion sensor is great and with the same features that it has on all the other mouse it works really well. All you need is that USB in the back and you can connect to multiple Logitech products so if you have the mouse you don't have to have a USB in the back for the mouse and the keyboard, no it all works well. So one would imagine that the MX Master 3 is the perfect mouse and you don't need to opt for anything else once you have this but unfortunately it just isn't. The first thing I'd like to cover is 
the position of your palm when you're resting on it. When you place your palm on it, you'll notice that the smallest finger doesn't quite sit on it comfortably. It feels like it's falling off a little bit. And for me, someone who spent hours and hours on end designing on a laptop for years, I really value my finger placements and I know how much it can have a long-term effect on you if you don't have it in the right position and if you don't have the right setup. I personally wouldn't opt for spending over hundred pounds for a mouse that doesn't cover everything that I need. The thing is, don't get me wrong, if you've never used the MX Ergo, you'll be perfectly fine with this mouse. But if you find that you're sitting down for an hour, two hours, three hours working on your computer, clicking so many times, I wouldn't recommend this for you. You can go ahead and buy this mouse, but I dare you to try the MX Ergo and tell me if you can go back to the MX Master 3 knowing that it doesn't really provide everything that you need. And that's the dilemma here. I would really recommend that Logitech creates a version of the MX Ergo that has a sensor, meaning that you don't have to use that rollerball. The rollerball isn't ideal for long-term work. It may work for some people, but I think for most people, they're looking for something that's the size of the MX Ergo, that's perfectly shaped, but that just has a sensor. If you could keep that shape with a sensor, it would be fantastic. I know you're probably wondering, did I decide to compromise? Well, I can't really compromise on a mouse that's cost well over hundred pounds, knowing that it won't provide all the features that I need. I couldn't decide to keep the MX Master 3 because it just doesn't do the job as well as the MX Ergo. A few years ago, I bought this mouse on Amazon and I won't say the name so you understand that this is in no way a paid promotion. This mouse has served me for years because the shape is really good. When I rest my palm on it, it feels comfortable. It's a lot smaller than the Logitech versions, but it does the job and it works well. And I've worked using this for up to five hours. So for me, it's the ideal mouse. Obviously, I would much prefer a version of the MX Ergo and would be happy to pay the cost if it just had a version with a sensor, but unfortunately it doesn't and I can't recommend that you buy that. For me, this is a topic I'm passionate about because I value my hands. If something goes wrong, that stops me from working. It stops me from being able to edit and I can't afford to do that. So I need a mouse that's really ideal. Logitech already has everything they need to make the perfect mouse. They don't have to think too hard about it. Just make the MX Ergo with a sensor and that will sell like hotcakes. It'll be really interesting to see what everybody else thinks about this. If people are still going to compromise and get the MX Master 3, or if you're just going to try the MX Ergo with a rollerball. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you have, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.